Hello and welcome everyone, our heart here with part one of my new Obama Let's Play, Total War Saga, Fall of the Samurai with Darth Mod. You guys have been asking for me to return to Shogun 2 and Fall of the Samurai for ages now, so I'm super excited to finally get a chance to revisit this Total War game after nearly four years since my last Let's Play on it. So seeing as it's been quite a while since I last played it, do feel free to share any advice, tips, or just kind of general information about features and mechanics in Fall of the Samurai that you think might be helpful to refresh my memory of what this game is all about. As the woman you let's play is offer you guys the opportunity for an early hour special at part 5 if we can reach 2000 likes on parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is of course completely optional so if you're enjoying the content you do want to see an early hour special at part 5 then feel free to leave a like. But if you're not enjoying the content you don't want to leave a like then feel free to leave a dislike. You'll still get part 5 regardless of the likes on the first 4 episodes, it just determines whether part 5 is an hour long or not. This first episode will also be an hour long as will every 10 episodes going forward in this let's play, so plenty of content to come either way. So yes, we are playing as the Obama, our initial challenge is normal, we start in the year 1864 and we have one province. We are the Overseers, so they have Vigilance which gives plus 2 to the experience of defending garrison units, Authority which gives plus 2 repression across all provinces, Logistics, which has a minus 10% uh, upkeep reduction cost for all land units, and Overseeing, which has plus 5% increase in tax income. We're playing this towards a long campaign victory objective, so that will require us to capture and hold 26 provinces, in addition uh, to ensuring that at least 50 provinces are held by the forces loyal to the Shogun, including uh, Musashi and Yamashiro. And we have to complete all of this by the end of our turn in late December 1876. Playing this on very hard campaign and very hard battle difficulty. And I think that's pretty much all I need to say from up here. Series will be released every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday going forward. So without further ado, let's dive on in. After the Sengoku Jidai, peace reigned for 200 years. In Kyoto, the emperor continued as divine head of state. But real power was held by the Tokugawa shogunate. For two centuries, they ruled with absolute authority. Japan prospered. The people were content. In 1853, American warships changed everything. The Shogun welcomed the West and signed the Treaty of Peace and Amity. The gates to Japan were open. Trade was established, but the agreements favored the Western powers. The economy faltered and the people suffered in 1863, the emperor overruled the shogun. An imperial decree ordered the expulsion of all Western powers. Ten years of diplomacy cast into the sea. Western powers gave the answer. To run out the guns. On my command, fire. The Emperor brought death to his people. The Imperialists would pay for their misguided actions. 
order had to be restored. To strengthen our position, the Shogun allied with the French. We will study their ways and discover their secrets. Only then can we destroy the faults around the Emperor and return honor to Japan. The Shogun must be victorious. Obama Domain, bound by blood to the Tokugawa clan, we, the Sakai, have always fought for the Shogun. Although we have tried to prevent conflict, our hand has been forced by the imperialists' extreme methods. For the good of Japan, they must be stopped. Our first priority should be to subdue nearby threats before they are reinforced, as the Shogun's enemies will soon close in from the west, and we cannot afford to be surrounded. We must then join our allies to protect Kyoto and prevent imperial forces from sweeping eastwards towards Edo. Should these key cities fall to the enemy, the battle will be all but over. But the people of Obama will not falter. Japan's best interests will be defended. For the Shogun! For the Shogun. It's good to be back on the Fall of the Samurai campaign. But I think it's been four years since my last Let's Play, the Sioux campaign for Fall of the Samurai. So it's great to be back. Obviously, it goes without saying, do give me as much advice, tips, and what have you. Uh, about Fall of the Samurai because it has been a long time since I last played and jumping between different Total Wars for various Let's Plays I always tend to get a bit confused or forget which features are in which one what what features were gained what were lost what changed so those that are more familiar with Fall of the Samurai do feel free to uh, give me as much advice your sort of top tips down in the comment section also pronunciation corrections and suggestions feel free to give me plenty of those because otherwise I'll probably butcher uh, the names and places Anyway, we've got our first mission, developing our potential. Although it saddens me to see our culture diluted by the barbarian ways of the Westerners, there are many advantages to embracing their technology. To conduct advanced research, we must first increase our capacity for development by building up our civic and industrial infrastructure. So our objective is to increase your clan's development level and the reward will be inspired endeavors which for 12 turns will give us plus 50% to wealth generated by buildings across all provinces. The Boshin War is a conflict between the forces of the Shogunate and those of the Emperor. Every clan must pledge allegiance to one or the other. The object of the campaign game is to secure allegiance to our cause and capture territory. When our clan's fame reaches a certain level, we must choose to rally behind one power or the other, or attempt to assume personal control of the country. This last option will lead to all but our most loyal allies turning against us. Okay, thank you, advisor. So she's just referencing the sort of the main objective of the campaign, but also that Mbit is talking about the realm divide mechanic, which obviously, as she said, triggers when our fame reaches a, uh, a particular level. Um, fame is gained by fighting battles and conquering provinces so it, it should happen I imagine towards the sort of mid to late stage of the campaign once we're close to gaining all of our total victory provinces we need 28 because we're going for the the long campaign objective uh, that we chose at the start but yeah when that realm divide option sort of pops off or triggers that event you have three options either side with the shogun who we are currently uh, sort of aligned with we are a pro shogunate faction uh, so we can align with the Shogun, we can choose to align with the Emperor, or we can choose to go it alone, the third option, create your own Republic. But as the advisor has just said, all but your most loyal allies will uh, will turn against you then. So um, I imagine you guys will say go for the Republic, go for option three, because that will be the most challenging option of them. Uh, I think definitely that's what I'll aim to do. Um, at the very least, I'll probably stick with the Shogun, uh, seeing as we are a pro Shogunate faction. But yeah, thinking about it now, I think we'll we'll aim for the sort of outcome of the Realm Divide. We'll we'll choose to to go it alone potentially and form our own Republic. 
So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Right. Let's take a look at our diplomacy, gather our bearings, and uh, start, start cracking on with the turns. So we have one enemy at the moment, the Fuki, who are to the sort of northeast. Uh, that works out quite nicely because when I did announce this campaign, uh, one, two of you did jump in and say, yeah, definitely go northeast early on. You want to go up to Kaga because there is a blacksmith up here and that gives you accuracy uh, increase modifiers for your line infantry, your missile units. So definitely want to grab that early on because that really does give you quite a nice tasty advantage. So that's where we'll go. We'll go up against them. Uh, it is currently winter, so we don't really want to go into their territory. I think we'll probably, with our force here, we'll probably gather all of our forces together, but we'll try and set up a little ambush right on our border. Uh, we do have this agent as well, the Shinsengumi, and I'm going to pop that in my army as well. I'll instill discipline. Assume that increases morale. And jump on in. I also did have a look at Mr. Smart Donkey's clan overview video for Clan Obama. He's gone through Shogun 2 and Fall of the Samurai. I'm pretty sure he's done all of the clans so far, or he's done most of them. Uh, I'll, put, I'll pop a link to his channel down in the description. Do check him out because his uh, clan overview videos are very helpful. And one of the suggestions he made for starting off as Obama early on was actually to get rid of this police station, which allows us to recruit more Shinsen Gumi, but at the moment we're limited to just one of them. The uh, the limit hasn't been in increased. I don't actually know how we increase that limit, possibly by upgrading it, but I don't feel we really need it right now. We don't need the extra repression. So Mr. Smart Donkey suggests destroying it and then next turn building um, some of the cottage industry buildings. So we'll probably do that. Well, we've got a fair bit of money at the moment, but our income is pretty low at 520. So we'll go for upgrading our tenant, uh, upgrading to the tenant fields rather from the uh, from the previous one. Um, we could upgrade our town and our port, but I think we'll save our money for the moment and we'll just upgrade our levy infantry. Although we could probably start off that port, couldn't we? And then just recruit more next turn. We should have enough money to go for that uh, industry building too. So we'll do all that. We'll bring these guys on and join them all up. We'll take a look at our family tree in a second too. We'll bring everyone together. That's actually our, our faction leader, our daimyo. So uh, can we bring you all together? And no, let's, just, let's just send you separately. So yeah, we'll recruit a couple of extra units and then we'll push on these guys. We'll also look to bombard Cheers then. Put some damage to their Yari Kachi. Of naval bombardment in this as well that is a, a feature on the on the battle map is good fun so yeah family tree i said i'd take a look at that so we've got our daimyo three honor so he's unproven and then we have his uh his eldest son son and heir and then we have his spare heir which is always good to have an heir and a spare so that's good He's got a loyalty of three at the moment, but having them all fight, that should increase. So my heir has a daughter. We can't see any details about her, so I guess she hasn't come of age yet. Can't give anyone a commission just yet. They need higher rank, so uh, we'll leave things there. We need to do research, our clan development. I'm probably going to go for this one first. Uh, we get the Banzai ability, fire arrows, which is obviously good if you're going for a traditional army. I probably, I probably will modernize fairly quickly, to be honest. Make use of all those new tasty modern units um we might do a traditional army at some point for a bit of fun and just see what we can do with it uh, once we're a little bit more established uh, but the main reason why i'm going to go for this one this early on is the plus five percent unit replenishment just to say a little caveat for darth mod it unlocks the neil fire ability straight away you don't need the neil fire technology obviously when we do research neil fire uh later on we also get the plus one to modernization and the plus five to accuracy but yeah, Neil Fire is already unlocked. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all we need to do. For oh, no, wait. Diplomacy. We can do some trade, can't we? We've got an ally as well and a trade partner. And they hold Kango over to the west. That's good. I think there's quite a few. I think the, the little overview we had at the start, there's quite a few imperialist pro-emperor forces over here. So they can hopefully hold that side. And who do we have over here? The Flashiyama. Right. Let's see if we can get some trade with these people. I wonder if Speak, I can. And do not mumble. Can I Honestly, demand some money? March forwards together in negotiations. Might be able to come to an agreement. Okay, let's uh. Okay, let's work out. Five hundred? Too much? Too little? I mean, let's let's make proposal. They want to go straight for a military line. I don't think I want to be. 
Think of the glory that could be ours. I don't, and accept this proposal. don't think I want to ally up with you guys just yet. Because I don't want to be dragged into lots of wars. And I I know your starting position, what it's like. You'll, you'll be at war with everyone soon. You're already at war with the Sioux. So yeah, you're going to get jumped on. Uh, let's just see. Maybe, what if we literally just ask for like 100? Because oh, that's satisfactory. Or about 150. <laughs> That's satisfactory as well. Okay, well, you know what? I won't push it. We'll just ask for 150 for now. Thank you. Every little helps. Also, we can trade with these guys as well. Let's see if we can also... Speak honestly, and I will give you good attention. Is 150 the magic number for turn one? No, that's unacceptable. Okay, we, we won't. We'll just take the trade, thanks. I say, we're not actually getting that much from these trades. They're all like 50 odd. Um, Yodo. Trade? Oh dear, no. Unacceptable. Not even going to counter off me. Fine, we'll see if that improves over the next couple of turns. We've got a little bit more money. That's fine. All right, let's end the turn. Just say I probably will be quick saving before every battle uh, in this series just because I was experimenting uh, with Darth Mod and Fall of the Samurai last week and I was getting the odd crash here and there. So just for the sake of being able to save any campaign progress we make up until a battle initiates, if it does crash during a battle, then we've obviously got the... A quick save just to load up so if you are wondering why i'm quick saving before everyone just because caveats of using darth mod while there are you know many improvements made does sometimes make it a little bit unstable pop you guys all in and we can bring these guys up get them into the army next turn so we will recruit two more of them, but does that mean I've got enough money for the cottage industry? That isn't enough. That's what I'd like to go for. We could just go for the inn. But I would quite like to go for cottage industry. So I think what we'll do is we'll cancel that port. And then we can get the cottage industry in there. Because that gives us plus 560 wealth generated, which is quite good. So we'll upgrade that port at a later date. To be honest, the port wasn't going to get us that much more right now. We can do a bombardment on this army, though, that's jumped on out. The there we go. Bear the guns. That's all good. Hopefully they stay out there and I can just jump on them. Probably wait until hmm, those guys go in. I don't know if I can reach them then a single turn. But, yeah, we might not wait for these guys to be able to join the army. Maybe just have them as reinforcements. We'll see. Can we get Yodo's now plus two? So I don't know if that's the triggering point. It does look like Please it's satisfactory. And I will give you good attention. Just be cheeky and ask for 150. Mm, no. Okay. Have that glorious trade deal. There we go. We've got trade with everyone that we can at the moment. Got two pro emperor factions at the moment. But we can we can go to war with uh, pro shogunate forces if we want to. In fact, Mr. Smart Donkey in his overview for plan obama suggests going after omi relatively early once you sort of dealt with these guys up here just because as you can see 2649 it's because they've got a silver mine in their province which yeah compared to casa is a rather hefty uh, improvement um in income so yeah we might look to go after them once we've taken cargo but that is good going up here and grabbing this territory is going to be our sort of our initial focus end the turn once more And we have a mission. It's another reason why I didn't dive straight in and attack these guys. Because I think you can actually reach them in the first, like, turn or two. Um, but if you wait a few turns, then you get this mission. Which is obviously worthwhile getting because of the reward. The Shogun's Authority improves spread of pro-Shogunate sentiment across all provinces. Plus two influence for 12 turns by taking Tizen. Right. Let's bombard you guys again. Ooh, nice on that levy infantry. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so I think popping these guys in here. I don't think, no, I can't move this turn. So we don't want to move into their territory right now either because it's winter, so we'll take attrition. It says here, in winter, your armies suffer losses due to attrition if they're in enemy territory, yeah. So we'll have to wait. Probably means we can't bring these guys in next turn to reinforce, but we can attack that army next turn and bring these guys in as reinforcements. I'm hoping they won't withdraw to their settlement because settlements in Darth Mod do get rather substantial garrisons. 
um, to make it obviously a bit tougher to take them. But if we can fight them out in the open, that would be grand. Uh, we can upgrade that port as well. We could go for recruiting more stuff, but I think seeing as we cancelled it last turn, let's chuck it in there. And once all this is done, we should be able to get that large town. We've actually recruiting more troops right now. We don't have much clan income, not until our other buildings are up and running. So, um, in the turn again. Oh, the Sioux moving in. They are not hanging about, going straight in there, Omi. Good luck to those guys. They're going to need it. Attacked really fast. Right, we are going to bombard these guys. Before I do, actually, I'm just going to move my ships slightly closer because then we'll be in range of the uh, city as well. Bombard them. Good bit of damage. Now, let's see if they stand or whether they retreat back to the, uh, the city itself. Ah, you wusses. Right, advance. I can start sieging them if I pull my general out because he'll have a little bit of extra movement range. There we go. can bring in the rest of my forces as reinforcement. I don't want to fight this, though, because they outnumber me, and they've got garrison infantry. So I think I'm just going to try and starve them out and force them to sally out and attack me, because with their fortifications, that is going to be brutal. I don't think you can really win it if you're outnumbered, unless you've got just elite troops, to be honest. So we'll continue the siege. Uh, we'll bring these guys as close as we can to the border. I won't bring them up just yet, because otherwise... I mean, I could bring them, actually. And they take attrition. Let's hold them back and bring them up next turn. See if they sally out during the end turn phase. If they do, I think with the naval bombardment and our cavalry, that's the main thing as well. I don't really want to go in and siege the settlement because my main advantage over these guys right now is having all three of my generals together and having that cavalry superiority, which should just shred their troops. So, yeah, we'll end turn and we'll see what happens during this end turn phase. They are sallying out. And I would say that balance of power is slightly in my favor. That's good. They outnumber me by about 800. But we've got our cavalry, so I think we can take them. Quick save in case there's a crash. And in we go. First blood. Hopefully, we shall triumph. So, where are my reinforcements coming from? Over on the left, we'll deploy. Um, actually, can I can I hide you? I don't think this. I think this is before Total War allowed you to hide your generals. If that was the only unit you had, but they can hide in the trees. But I don't think they will actually be hidden if they're the only unit I have on the battlefield. So, yeah, okay, let's let's have you over here, the safety of the rest of you. I'll probably swing the cavalry out that way. Today, sir, we defend. Well, I'll wait until I've got all of them. Today, sir, we defend. Cool, cool, cool. So they've got all their units over here, and they're going to march towards me because they're the ones selling out to attack. The little couple of buildings over here. I don't know if that's sort of representing the town. Right. Yeah, all my cavalry together. I'm just trying to remember all my keybinds. Uh, I think it was... Alt F4, Shogun to Fall of the Samurai for cavalry units to get a nice single line. Thinking with you guys, I move up here and grab sort of cover behind those buildings there. And then Spears. We have you guys here, and then we'll have all my Missile troops along there. Well, that's good. I probably should have them walking, but I kind of want them in position as quickly as possible. These guys aren't hanging about either. So we've got our naval support as well. We can do our bombardments. Shells per volley, 14. Time to impact, 11 seconds. Bombardment duration, 7 seconds. And 173 second cooldown. We can have focus or we can have area. Focus is obviously just smaller. A targeted section, although it's still pretty large. Area is just massive. I don't think I've ever used um, area, to be honest. So I'll have my carry out on the right, and we'll try and swing on round. 
and get in behind them and break their levy infantry. And they've also got garrison infantry, so this is a, a unit of line infantry, basically. They're pretty capable. Okay, look at our general's bodyguard before I potentially get them slaughtered. Gotta be careful throwing them all in as well. We do not want... not want to uh, lose any of them. Try and draw them in here. Actually, if they stay bunched up for a few more seconds, we can get a lovely bombardment on them. Okay, you guys hide here so you can't be shot, and then I'm hoping that we can just push out and flank them. Right, hopefully we can push them towards my infantry line. Normally they're keeping their spears back. Where was that spear unit? They, they pulled the one back that they were sending towards my cavalry. Yeah, tucking it in. Focus attack on those guys. Neil fire. They'll get the first volley. And we'll fire back. We've got more men than they do in our units. So for now, this should hold. I'll spear levy actually over there. I need to bring up my cavalry. Send these guys in. Those guys on rapid advance. Quickly, fire, 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 fire. Charge on in against the mat match shot Kachi. Oh, their general. We managed to get a volley on them. You guys go after the levy infantry. There we go. Levy's managed to pull you guys back. Nice. General is down. Needs to push on from here. Hit these guys Sir, in the back. Your general is under attack. Go, go, go. Break them. That's my spear levy in there, is it? That's fine. You guys advance. back. Yari Kachi over here. Cutting on through nicely. There we go. General slaughtering these guys. Charge back round. Yes, 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 yes. We have got them. It's a tense start. I don't do any friendly fire into my general because I probably I shouldn't be using them potentially as gung ho as this. Hasn't broken. Oh, garrison infantry. Face those guys. 
Who are you guys still firing at? No idea. There we go. Let's continue, though, because we can run them down a little bit more. Just fast forward it. Then it means less of them defending it. Hopefully, we should be able to just press on to an order resolve with our reinforcements. I guess it depends. How much attrition we take. Ooh. That was good. That was good. Well fought, men. Well fought. I'm going to try and get some more close-ups, obviously. Oh, they've already crossed the line, so they're not going to do it. Yeah, try and get more close-ups in future battles. But a close victory. I should think so with the number that they had against us. There we go. We lost 590. They lost 2,207. They have 675 remaining. We got the most kills. Yari Kachi. Then our general, 365. Togatai, 295. And the other two generals. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm using them as I am. Because I know they'll do some pretty hefty damage. Oh, we finished our technology. Nice. We get more replenishment. And it is now spring. So we get plus one to happiness across all provinces. I'm actually going to say... Hmm, accuracy of ships. Don't go for that. Go for arm steals first. Can I still bombard the city? No. I can, but it failed to cause any damage. Ooh, we've taken a... Fair pounding. Let's bring these guys up, though. That's an order resolve. Something I like as well, if you press spacebar so that units aren't moving as quickly as possible, you see the numbers slowly decrease as if they're going through different stages of the fight. We did lose a spear levy unit in that. We lost 103, but we managed to finish them off. There we go. Province captured, peacefully occupy, and general increases in rank. Mission successful. We get the Shogun's authority. Lovely stuff. So we do need to repair Stronghold. And it was our daimyo as well. Gets the level. But we got bottle of chloroform. Replenishment rate of all units in this man's army. Or Yatsu Master. Melee attack of all units in this army. Uh, I'm going to go for bottle of chloroform. You won't feel a thing. How does, how does that increase replenishment? <laughs> oh dear. And then we need to choose our character skills. I think I'm probably going to go for aggressor though. Because then this one gives us more replenishment. And more campaign map movement range with the logistics. And I always love favoring uh, more campaign map movement range. So how long till we're replenished? We're not war with anyone. That's going to take seven turns. Really? What have we got here? Cannon range. Oh, interesting. So they've managed to probably just get that in there. A uh, cannon will definitely be useful. I mean, it's not amazing early on, but better to have cannon than not have cannon. Subsistence farming. We've got the port there. And we've got clay pits. Just constructing buildings. So, yeah, they're all good. Our economy should do fairly well out of this. So, gain. So, we'll take a few turns to replenish one up, and then we'll look to go after these guys. So, I'll probably send my ships, actually, up there to see um, what's going on at Karga. And now, though, we have no... Enemies. Those guys, they hold the territory I want to take. They're actually pro-Shogun. Uh, yeah, trade would be nice, but I'm going to come kill you instead. Um, where are you guys? You're over there. How much can I get from you guys? I'm friendly. I don't know if you'll... Oh, no, sorry. Clicking on the wrong one. Uh, where is it? This one. That's factory. If a tiger growls at your door, you listen, but you do not invite it to take tea. There we go. For now, yeah, we'll get it because everything helps. Um, you guys through there. You're at war with those guys. Would you take trade though? I will listen. Let's let's go for it because yeah. Why not? Why not have all the trade? We're now over a thousand income. Let's worry if this gets hit. Oh, that's that's yeah, that's increased its value rather nice. We probably should. I'm guessing it's the fortress we want to upgrade for a better garrison. Won't recruit anything this turn. We'll recruit from here and we'll probably just get a cannon straight in. Not amazing and accuracy is awful, but wooden cannons. Give it a go. Three unit. 
Tetsu still moving in there or trying to, but we'll see how, who cracks the defense first. Right. End the turn. Oh, those guys are moving in as well. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their name. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, it looks like... Oh, they've obviously had another battle with the Sioux. They must have just survived, though. They still hold on to the city. Let's go find out what's up here. Should be able to see. Yeah, there we go. That blacksmith. That's what we want to go and get. It gives plus five the accuracy of all units recruited from this province. And it enables the ironworks, which gets it to plus 10. And then you go for the gunsmith, plus 20 to the accuracy. Um, so, yeah, that's just wonderful. So that's their main force. They've got two settlements. They do have line infantry, though. So I'm actually kind of wondering, maybe, just maybe, we should recruit... Oh, God, it takes three turns to get the wooden cannons. Oh, that's not worth it. I was thinking maybe it'd actually be better to get rid of that and instead go for the barracks. I probably should have destroyed that last turn then. Three turns to wait for that. No way. Um, we did lose a speed unit, so I'll go for one of each for the moment. Then we'll get some line infantry when we can get the barracks in. Cadet school, I think it is. Won't, won't be hasty. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe we need to be hasty. Oh, they're sieging it again. And they got pushed back. And then they lost it. You guys gained the, uh, the spoils of all of the Sioux's hard work. And destroyed. The Choshu. Okay. One of the playable factions gone. It's going to take three turns to get the cadet school, but it will let me get line infantry. Which means if we were to be defeated by these guys, at least we could recover in a few turns with some line. We are going to still need to wait and mm, three turns for those guys. Three turns for you guys. I think we just need to do several turns of building, though, and recruiting more units. I could declare war on them. See what happens. What? Who are they currently at war with? They're currently at war with... Akiyama. Down there. They might be kept busy. Well, let's at least wait till our main force is ready and then we could always maybe go into ambush in their territory by the bridge. So we'll give it a turn. We hit their port as well to cripple their income. I'd like to try this episode to grab that blacksmith, end on getting that. I'm worried about these guys to the south, though, because we might then have to turn back round and deal with them. Our Shinsengumi increases in rank. Lovely. Poison collection. Or a Philadelphia Deringer. Being enemy agent self-defense. Once being assassinated. Yeah, let's go for that. And... Coercing or zeal wins. Yeah, I mean, converting provinces, that's pretty good. But at the moment you're in the army, let's go for Intimidator. Although maybe I should send him. Sight a revolt. We'd give it a go, couldn't we? Let's try it. Please don't die. It did fail, but do we get more information about their army? We found they've got another one. Oh, and they've got improved accuracy. Okay, we keep on trying. We're going to need all the units that we can muster. Two turns till we're replenished. I feel like we need more. More of those guys. I'm assuming that adds to the recruitment capacity as well. Yes, it does. Uh, I think we'll wait another turn before I decide to attack them. I'll just bombard them with my, my ships. Where are you guys going? Oh, they've just lost their territory. And they're bringing their army down from Noto. So we sail on up there and take it and try and draw them to me. That way, perhaps. Clan encountered. Oh, Nagaoka are gone. I say let's bombard them, declare war, 
What happened to... Speak oh, they no longer my allies. What? What happened to... Tango? You guys. You broke my alliance. Come, be seated. I will order tea, and we will have agreement before sunset. If, well, it looks like they're up for having it back again. Don't know why that disappeared. I should have checked that before I declared war. Well, I should actually not have gone through with it. And done this to check why. Okay, no, fine. We'll just have a military alliance. Can you request them to join war? Be welcome, my friend. I have no. ordered okay. sake I'm glad you've ordered some. Um, you guys are friendly. Let's get trade with you. Welcome. Be seated. And tell me. At least I've got my ally again. How can I assist you? Bolt incited. Nice. There's now a rebel army, which will hopefully draw them out, and then. My plan is to um, push in and attack them. In fact, if I go... Uh, should we not at full replenishment, are we? Maybe we could draw them out. It's not going to be that much. It's not much. Right. Go in and ambush. In ambush. Hoping it, these guys don't suddenly wander here because that would be really frustrating if we triggered an ambush on the rebels that we're now also at war with. But I'm hoping it will draw this army out. They'll take some casualties and then we can mop it. Uh, push in to mop them up. My sword for you, my lord. Right. Mm, should we recruit something? No, I think we'll save our money to get a uh, line of duty from the cadet school next turn. Cunning plan. Oh, the suit are back. Are they at war with them as well, though? Yo. Oh, wow. Yodo's gone in. It's all kicking off. Yes, they're moving on out. My crafty rebellion plan has worked. Mounting unrest. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, I didn't look at this, did I? Exempt them from tax. That solves the problem. We can also get Saber Cavalry, so that would... Uh, that would be better than using my generals. In fact, maybe I should send one of these. How weakened are you guys? Ooh, barely substantially. That also cover their castle. Now bombard them. Ah, oh, damn. can coerce troops away and, like, successfully buy them off, can't you? Always fun. What do you wish of me? I... I'm just thinking, do we send one of my generals back? I think we do. And we don't need to exempt them from tax, potentially. Let's see. Ready for order. Um, let's... The air. I always like the idea of the air going with the father. So let's send the spare to safety. That has not been enough, so we also need to exempt. Okay. But we can go for two units of line infantry. How do, they, how do their stats actually compare? So their accuracy is 30, whereas levy is 10. Reload is 20, 215. Range is 180 as well. Okay, wow. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Hoping we can still move. Obedience. Yeah, we can. Attack him. I bet I can't move now. Damn it. Oh, wait. It's because we're... It's because of those, the rebels. Now we can move. There we go. We managed to catch them. I think we'll fight this one as well. God, that's a lot of efficiency. I think we will fight it, though. Just reduce casualties, because then we should be able to move on the city. Although the rebels... Not sure where they'll go. Yeah, we were caught in the rebels' zone of control. Phew! Got a little bit worried, then. <laughs> Why can't we move? Please don't say putting that agent in really cut down my movement. But I didn't think it did. Not too much, anyway. But we still had enough to reach these guys. 
Right, reinforcements coming directly in from behind. We'll just deploy at the back. And their weakened force is over here. Well, this is good because we can get... Have they got their infantry out in front? Yeah, we just need to get in missile range. So if these guys start firing, they'll fire through. And we can get a bombardment on them at the same time. This will be beautiful. Right, let's uh, triple speed it while we wait for our troops to get on in. The this could take a while. Sir. I will play it safer with my general this time as well. Keep them behind. And then all my infantry. Um, you know, I'll keep you guys in the infantry line behind. I'll make sure to drag you out onto the flank like that. They are actually they are actually coming forward. Okay, I might run you guys then into position. I am surprised. Sir, I fear your general is in mortal peril, sir. Neil fire. Spears. Oh, just getting through in time. Oh, the blast. Bring them down. Chase over there. Go, Yorikachi, go. Advance forward again. And while infantry. Storm on forward towards them. I haven't heard it say the enemy general's dead. I just missed it. Because I'm not getting the advisor. I think it's because I've I've turned off the advisor. Uh, game settings. Oh, battle advisor. Let's have it low. Maybe then he'll at least be like, yo, general. might end up just shredding my own troops here a little bit. The ones on the flanks can at least shoot them down a little bit once they clear the line. They've gone. They're broken. There we go. There you guys can fire. Nice. Uh, continue. All the while, they're in range. Could run those guys down. Might as well. And yeah, we'll start getting some Sabre Cavalry. 
soon-ish. I don't have to worry so much about my generals. A decisive victory. Indeed it was. Carp of victory are back. It was 557. 219 of them remaining. Most kills by the spear levy. Good, good. But they have nowhere to run because they've already retreated. So, goodbye. Back up. Yeah, those guys are gone. Okay, that is... That's a super useful ta uh, sort of technique and tactic to use to draw enemies out. It's going to be fun. I just need to turn back around fairly promptly, though. Have that city there. It should give us a little bit more income. They're actually upgrading their barracks. So maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of that one in the end. I should have left it as the cannon upgraded from there. Makes sense to keep the barracks here because you've got the blacksmith. So maybe maybe we'll swap that round, but I went with what I needed. I guess it will allow me to recruit units from both regions. We'll see. If not, I could always turn it back to a can. Although, does that? Oh, Yodo declares what? Oh, you're imperial. Oh, that yeah, that makes sense. I was like, what? I thought you were choking up. It's just yeah, okay. Oh, they got joined by none of their allies. We are Thank the gods. They're also really happy. Whoa! Okay, no. Their other army came back. They had another army. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's now summer, which gives us more replenishment. Yowza. That's a strong force. Uh, can I take it on? Can I take it on? Yes, my lord. Uh, damn it. Will we draw those guys out? I don't think we'll draw the garrison. If they, if it's just infantry, though, surely we can shoot them down. Sir? I've got to try and bombard it, haven't Oh, hang on. No, no, you're not. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, no, that's another faction. Oh, that scared me. No, just looked a similar color. They are indifferent, though. So a, we are trading. There's a good chance they might attack me. They are enemies with the Sioux and are with these guys. So they're going to take this settlement or possibly Noto. So we need to move in now. Ready for orders. Your next command. Take the city. Um, I think we will. Oh, we're being reinforced by these guys. I'm tempted to fight and let them do all the sacrificing themselves, all the capturing. I'm the one that initiates. But then if they don't, for some reason, they bug out. Oh, they should move in. Otherwise, then I've got to fight myself. Let's fight it. Let's do it. And utilize these guys coming in. And hopefully, they'll just swarm in and we'll let them take the hits. And then we'll just swan in afterwards. Like I'm playing like a master of manipulation here. Sort of let's play, but hey. Possible to call in fire support ah, here we go. He's now giving me advice. You can yes. The archery towers. Was that, was that a thing in the base game? I feel like this might be a Darth Mod edition. They're, in, they're coming in attacking from here. So while they do that, maybe I should attack from the other side. Split their forces, my boy. Can we see the range of the archery tower? Let's try pushing it from here while our allies, well, temporary allies, move in from the other side. Oh, 
honestly no how no idea how this is gonna go. to attack sir because i mean if anything we probably want to wait until we can do a bombardment they're advancing oh i'm so glad i didn't i didn't bombard them there nearly drew another rather powerful force into this but yeah especially if, if they do maybe want to turn on me if, if their army gets beaten up here trying to take this uh this fortress that's the only thing I I feel. Put, I think the thing that put me off the most from Shogun 2 and Fall of the Samurai. Actually, I, I really enjoy Fall of the Samurai more so than Shogun 2. But I know for many, Shogun 2 is is like the god of of Total War games. Um, and I can definitely. I think now it's been quite a while since I played it. I can definitely see the appeal. But one thing that I always thought was pretty lackluster were the sieges, because it's always like they get slightly bigger, but. I just thought it would have been... I appreciate this is meant to be the fortress, which is... Isn't it integrated somewhere into the city? Like at the center or at the at the front or the back? It sort of guards the city in, to a degree. I just always thought that sieges looked so sparse. There weren't any little buildings outside that could have brought a bit more life to... To the siege itself. I mean, they're still better than Warhammer sieges. Because they're 360. Their tower is down, sir. Take advantage of it. Oh, did they just use... Have they, no, they've got an artillery piece, surely. How did that go down? I'm very confused. How did they... There's bombardment here, so they must have had a... It's the, my ships are over there. I can't see theirs anywhere. How did that go down? What? <laughs> How did they manage to take a tower down? Because that's what I was going to use the uh, bombardment for, but let's... Uh, we will. We'll still bombard here. At least we don't have to worry about that tower anymore. I guess they must... I would have seen their ships. I don't know. I wasn't exactly that observant seeing that they were a different faction to these guys, so... Maybe they do have ships somewhere. Maybe there's a cannon hidden in the woods or in their army that I'm just completely missing. Who ruddy knows? Are there little buildings over here? Little, little farm. I just kind of always thought sieges would look a bit better if they had little bits around it. Well, that knocked them off the walls. Oh, boom. I say, if we had another one on there, that would have been great to have the gatehouse destroyed going to move back on. So this is the probably the time to advance. And that bit of wall's actually down. Screw it. Let's go. Forward! Just as these guys hopefully press in from this side. We'll walk, though. Actually, I don't want them being all tired. That's another bombardment here would be grand, but again, probably need to do it as we're approaching. I'm hoping these guys getting there first will draw more of their forces back that way, so we can just storm on up. Start. Start the climb. Do another bombardment here, so if we get any of them, we want to fire it on these guys. We'll do it on this section because that's where they've got their infantry as they just start moving away, of course. Replace it more that way. Might hit some of these guys over there. That'd be nice. I 
Oh, they're all moved out of the uh, bombardment zone. Oh, that might have maybe got a few of them. Oh, that was a hit. Yes. That'll do it. That'll do it indeed. They're actually capturing that archery tower. They managed to get troops up. Still want to know what happened to that one. Unless... No, because they were both they were both active to start with, weren't they? Unless I was highly unobservant and it had been destroyed by my bombardment, perhaps? Who ruddy knows? God, they're going for it, aren't they? Spider-Man up those walls. That's it. Pull them all in. That's it. Burning torches. Make a lot of losses climbing up the walls. Going on in. Especially them bringing more garrison infantry over. It's now on fire though. Units do fall down as you're trying to climb on up. These guys should shred them. Been a bit laggy. back actually lag 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 happens in some settlement battles a tower has fallen into enemy hands oh, they've recaptured the tower should keep the generals close by So we can throw up some rallies. Once these guys go, pretty confident we can slam into the back of these guys and break them. Are they fighting to the death? I think so. Alright, form one up. Dodge this lot. I'll try and keep most of my infantry firing. Enough those guys to deal with once we get up. Go, go, go. Trogatai. In you go. Cut them down. Inspire. You guys are wavering. Hopefully that unit breaks shortly, then we can slam into the back of these guys. They are going down pretty quickly. A unit is running from the battlefield, sir. Oh, they're starting to break. I think they're all going to start going soon. I'd love to get my cavalry up here. Get in there. Oh, he's slowly staggering backwards. So it's all synced match combat in this game. Okay, they're really going down now. As long as those spears just hold. Yeah, they're fighting to the death. Your victory is close, sir. Good. 
I got my camera up here. We can rear charge these guys. I don't know if the order resolve would have been a better shout, but um let's see. When the wall's when the wall's broken there, does that mean we don't fall off? We don't lose anyone climbing. I have a feeling that might be the case. As you can see all the guys that fell off here. Oh no, they did lose one guy. Maybe just reduce the chance a little bit. You guys can form up there. You can fire straight into the back of these guys. There we go. Those guys are all gone. Keep these guys busy. You guys now form up that way. Cavalry can now get up. At least their force, if they were thinking about attacking me, is now ruined as well. Mule fire. Yes, he is going right there. Then we'll flank on round. These sieges are going to be incredibly bloody. They're all going to stand. Fight to the death, which I'm assuming is what the skull symbol means. Bodies over here. A mass of blood. I'm charging to the back of these guys. Charge them in the back. to charge. That'll have them. I'll just charge him. <laughs> I was trying to get a shot off. We are capturing. I was just looking in the, completely the wrong place. Is that all we need to do to capture them as well? Get a victory. Put the flag up there. A delay before it kicks in. Or is it just give us. No, yeah, there we go. They're still surviving that. Good. End battle. Decisive victory.
We lost two spear units. Total, we lost 2,390. But mainly all of these guys, which is good. Mainly our ally. Okay, we did take a fair few losses ourselves, but still. Peacefully occupy. So that now gives us the blacksmith, which we can't upgrade to the ironworks until we have iron. So we need iron. Anyone know where the nearest iron resource is then to make it better? So we want to go and move and take Noto as soon as possible. Oh, I can't repair, get anything straight away because that's damaged. So, yeah, we definitely want to draw these guys up. Although there are those rebels in our path. Uh, actually, can we turn that off so we get a bit more money in? I imagine if I move out with these guys. Don't know if it's worth maybe moving them up and attacking them manually. Getting some shots off. Might be able to break them and then bring them up as reinforcements. Probably. Um... And then, yeah, we'll push towards Noto, I guess. And we will have to then go to war with these guys. But we've broken their force. So if we move quickly enough, maybe we can grab some of their land too. Because they are... Oh, where are they? They are just over there. Although we've got a, we've got a trade agreement. Someone want to remind me how... Um, reliability... If there's a reliability modifier in here. like, Or can I just declare war on anyone that I've got treaties with? What's the, what's the penalty? Because obviously I'm thinking of the reliability system in more recent Total Wars. Uh, is there a system like that in Shogun 2 and Fall of the Samurai? Or what? But anyway, that is where I'm going to wrap things up for now. Sorry, I press K. I normally press K at the end of my episodes to get a nice cinematic view. But K brings up diplomacy in this game, so we won't have any of that. Yes, that is where we will wrap things up for today, our first episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you do want to see an early hour special at Part 5, you guys know what to do. 2,000 likes on this episode. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4. Until the next one, which will be out on Thursday, part two. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, and QT. For the next one, ciao for now.